Yo, welcome to the Total War Pharaoh's Dynasty campaign with Ninurta Apal Ikor, the Conqueror, with the faction of Hanengalbat. This is the major faction for Assyria, but you could also play as the minor faction of Assyria, and you'll start off with this character as the King of the Universe. Now, the reason why he's not the King of the, the Universe or why this character is this. the main character is because they want us to bring the history to life with Ninurta, who did eventually become the king of the Assyrians, but it was after the political turmoil. And this king of the for the minor faction, his reign was less than a decade. He is the son of the previous king who my was murdered. People, so we're starting off here with Ninurta as a smaller faction. So driven by unfettered ambition and perhaps overconfidence, Ninurta plots to take the Assyrian throne, but his plans don't stop there. He seeks complete domination over any and all. He wants to crush neighboring Babylon and put it under heel for good. Then march against Hatti and Canaan to the west, or Canaan to the west, forging Assyria into the largest empire the world has ever seen. And this would be describing the Nero Assyrian Empire over here where they march towards Canaan. Ninurta believes himself infallible, a leader destined to lead his people into a new golden age. The truth is, he underestimates the challenge that such a grand dream entails. Indeed. So we're going to go ahead and start this off. We're going to play on normal difficulty because I'm just the average Total War player. This is going to have some fun with it. All right, for the faction summary. Strengths and weaknesses. Our faction buildings. We're going to have cheaper, cheaper recruitment of units and generals. New generals gain a mount on ancillary. So unique to our faction is the military administration advantage advantages. Okay, we get stronger garrison for cheaper generals. Our war council is going to give us a cheaper recruitment cost for our army. 30% is pretty nice. As well as a 40% count on the recruitment and military support buildings. A palace of war for our generals. Excellent. And defenders fortress happiness. That's going to be pretty key, I believe. Siege holdout time. Labor cost to help us uh, take down the enemy's capitals and fortified walls and cities. For our faction units, we have versatile melee units and access to cavalry units and limited range units. So range is going to be our weakness, which kind of sucks with that new uh, lethality mechanic right there where you're able to one-shot kill essentially a lot more easier. It's versatile and has many units for many combat situations. Higher tiers, we get elite cavalry. Use them to quickly flank your enemies or charge from the back, all right? Assyrian sappers specialize in dealing damage to city gates. Interesting, you gotta keep that in mind. If you recruit them in your army, you'll be able to start sieges without building any siege equipment. Well, the horsemen uh, they perform, perform swift and devastating charges, cutting a swath through the enemy lines and moving away before sustaining heavy damage. All right. For the commands, we could passively grant you military training for every turn of for each faction you're at war with. Interesting. So the more when you gain enough military training, your recruitment cost will be lowered. When you activate your command, you will spend the accumulated military training, increasing the rank of the units in the selected army and gaining an additional recruitment slot for that army. Okay, for the court, we have access to the assassination plot at all times. Interesting. So this might be how we can stir up some turmoil and some opportunity in the Assyrian kingdom, who is the king of the universe. We have access to this plot regardless of our core position. You can use the Kalud Intrigue to speed up your plots and increase their chance of success. Use these abilities in combination and you'll be able to free up any core position you might desire. Alright. Our outpost, we got the Shrines to Ninurta, which increases influence and add a bonus to the rank of newly recruited units in the region. Pray there to gain a bonus to charge for your units and decrease the reload time for range units. The fort, it's a regular fort. Our native units are going to be these hunters. They may not be trained soldiers, but are experienced in hiding from their prey and, opportun and opportunistic strikes. All right. So they got some javelins. We can hit them from the back. And the horsemen, unmatched speed, charging with their spears, leaving only blood and death behind them. All right. For the titles, we can help. We can get, uh, get bigger and stronger armies with the bonuses to range and mounted units. All right. Royal traditions. The Nurta blade red, uh, battles rage and blood sings, yet your weapons always strike too true and just. The Nurta walks besides righteous warriors. There's a little typo there. And maybe that's how they spell it, I guess. Maybe. 
can construct dwellings for the Mesopotamian gods we worship. These buildings provide, provide additional bonuses based on the god they are dedicated to for and add a small amount of favor. Trines to Ninurta increase influence and add a bonus to the rank of newly recruited units in the region. Okay, so if you want to build up some shrines to Ninurta, the dwellings, before we want to amass our army so they get a little higher rank right off the bat. Okay, Mesopotamia is usually dry air, uh, sweltering heat. Okay, Mesopotamian warriors are well suited for that, wearing mostly light or medium armor. Some units are trained to fight in rain and thunderstorms, as those are likely to occur on the Fertile Crescent. And for our dynasty, dynasty, using this feature, you can arrange marriages. We have to get our faction adopted into a dynasty of the ruling family. Then we can marriage in diplomacy and can view the deeds of the current supreme ruler. Okay. Only certain factions start as a part as part of a dynasty in the beginning of the campaign. We start with this character in the ruling family. It's recommended you, you, you use a ranged marriage quickly to produce children that can be scions and avoid inheritance problems. Ancient legacy, we're going to go with the Sargon the Great, which is interesting because he's with the Akkadian Empire, which is separate from the Assyrian Empire. So greater ambitions with Sargon the Great, who is historically said to be the first emperor or the first empire builder. Click the X here and let's go ahead and embrace your ambition as the conqueror. Now for this campaign, I don't know if I plan on building the whole Neo-Assyrian Empire, controlling all this land. For the start of it, for the first goals, we're going to just look to build the Assyrian kingdom with their borders in this time period, which they don't control here. We got to control some more territory to a nice little chunk right here. And then, um, then we'll see if we want to expand into the neo Assyrian Empire. But let's go ahead and start this up. They shall bow to me, all of them. Babylon, Hatti, Canaan, even Egypt shall acknowledge me. I shall lead Assyria into a new golden age, a rightful empire of the world. Are they blind? Are they deaf? Assyria is a lion, roaring and shaking the earth with its might. Challenge us and perish. Yes, I prefer peace. I acknowledge strength. And true strength is to reach up and seize the heavens themselves. Tigris River is a gift from the gods. Its waters nourish a civilization as old as ours. It gave life to many cities, with Ashur among the greatest. The Assyrians are formidable. United, their military prowess matches our own. But like any empire, they face trials both internal and external. This kingdom is rife with opportunities. One such leader, Ninurta Apol Ekur, considers himself superior to others and is seeking Assyria's throne. He must manage his Hittite neighbors, lest they bring his downfall. Yet he is belligerent and prefers war over diplomacy. Trouble comes from within, too. Taking advantage of Ninurta's vulnerability, other Assyrian factions seek to claim territory and prestige at his expense. Expansion has even reached Babylon, a long coveted prize for this warlike empire. However, they couldn't hold the city, famous for its defiance. The Assyrian Empire is under pressure from all directions. Stretched thin to maintain its dominance and beset by a leadership crisis. This is the perfect time for Ninurta to grab the throne and lead Assyria to glory. Or destroy it utterly, should he fail. Okay, sweet. So we did go over the faction summary already. Now the reason why Babylon is independent right now is because the previous ruler of the Akkadian Empire for the minor faction, he conquered it, but during the turmoil that ensued after his assassination by his children, they were able to regain their independence. Let's go ahead and check out the province. So we're starting off with negative nine happiness right off the bat. So I definitely want to get some happiness to help us with that. And we definitely want to get some of these faction buildings here, not the officer's school. We can go for this war stockpile one, but I do want to get practice halls first. Let's go ahead and get both. Let's boost up the influence. Such times I must make it a little bit temper. cheaper. And any buildings afterwards for our recruitment and military and support will be cheaper. 
and our capital is right here and then let's go ahead and build the second level up that way we can get this next level for practice halls to increase our recruitment slots and rank for our soldiers so we have a better army these are the dwellings that they were talking about check out the ruling family real quick so he is the only one we knew need to get married we have one two three four five factions surrounding us so let's go ahead and check out our diplomacy with the surrounding nations because we are surrounded by quite a bit the diplomacy so the syrian faction we have it's trending up by a little bit this faction right here this one's going down they don't like the hurrians so strength 121 we're at 45 we'll check out the hurrians here we have a non-aggression pack here so that's pretty solid we don't have to worry about our western frontier from this section here Everybody has their duty. and then let's check this we faction now it's also going down but we could get a we could get an um a non-aggression pact with them as well we got this My nation it's trending down 92 97 this one's going up action. right here so this one could be a pretty good one for us as well to have a non-aggression pact that way we just limit our frontier or where we can be attacked How so let's check out our province first see what we gotta so this will secure our whole province and then we can get a commandment here so we definitely want to take them out as soon as possible and then check out this province this province is partially owned by the assyrian kingdom here but they have bronze we're definitely gonna need bronze and food for our army this province split up by these two factions so we have to pick one of these factions to have a non-aggression pack with i think we definitely start off we definitely try to secure we could also become their vassal we could be adopted into this leader's dynasty this will give you access to political marriages in the dynasty tree this action will not lead to confederations of factions interesting look at that if we have enough legitimacy to become a pretender at the start of any turn he will automatically make us his heir so we just need to have enough of le the legitimacy and we don't even need to fight him to make him his heir to inherit these lands i believe that's how it works this is my first campaign with the dynasty so we'll see we'll test it out but we could become his vassal he's not willing for a non-aggression pact currently but it's our we're, it's already trending up so we don't really have to worry about that too much for now at least and what about them they're also a negative four let us proceed make it work oh they want a whole province interesting and what about these guys it's also negative four interesting this should definitely boost up our diplomacy with them that's another way we can uh cure even an alliance maybe we have a non-aggression pack with them they have bronze which is very vital or we decide who we want to have a non-aggression pack with and who we want to move forward with politically let's go ahead and get this battle off i think enough with your pestering let's check out what these guys can do i will not hold back okay it says it says they have a little bit more power but let's go ahead and just check it out scope out this terrain first since we are going to be the attackers we're going to have to push the initiative we can definitely send our Ashura asher militia against these guys here and i think we're gonna to have to send our archers against these guys because they have very little armor so we're just gonna to have to take them out there and we can send our cavalry against uh, these guys as well who has the lowest amount of morale the cadian hunters do here i think we'll send our cavalry against these guys here as well as our archers and we'll try to take them out like that the battle of Sangra sangraritu the battle of sangraritu nanurta's first battle let's get it uh current weather lower visibility we definitely don't want to go with this option because we have the the archer uh, superiority right now so we're gonna go ahead and wait wait one more time and that's okay that's what we're dealt with we can't we gotta just deal with this with the the fog here and let's put our cavalry over here let's get two of these guys uh they're gonna be right-handed and they're gonna be facing us so let's go ahead and put our archers over here try to get some side shots and then we'll uh, just have them as a unit we'll keep him here with them okay start battle let's push him up a little bit We'll put them up there. 
And we'll move our archers. Okay, they're over here. We'll move our archers up here. We got some eyes on them, which is good. Strike with procession. Let's move them up right here. As we must. Yeah. They could appear out of anywhere. Actually, they're moving up towards us. Really good. Okay, we'll speed this up a little bit just to get them a little closer. And we got some over here as well. And these guys are already in range, actually. So we're going to have our archer take him out. No hesitation. And... Send the volley. The gods guide us. Take him out as well. The nurse is going to take out their general. Mix shot, archer, flaming. Oh, no. That's not good. We're just going to send them right there. Send them rushing. Okay, their morale's low. We're going to send them at their general. This person here. Okay. Good. We'll push back with our general. Okay. Oh, damn. Pretty fast right here. Okay, now we're going to go direct shot right there. And we're going to go straight into the back of this militia. With the direct shot, change them on the direct shot as well. And just keep pushing back with our general retreating. Okay, our cavalry got a good charge there. Excellent. Okay, good. Now we're going to put our archer over here. Our archer over here. And they got some speed going on there. Are they doing their winning? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. They're losing, so they need some support there. These guys are fast. Let's get our... Let's get our horses over here. And direct shots on them there. Oh, damn. We don't want our general getting caught. Go, go, go. Okay, nice. Okay, they're winning that battle there. Okay, nice. They're retreating. Get them over there. And we'll get him. Actually, we'll hold off. Hold them back. And we'll send our cavalry over here. And they're retreating. We'll continue just to shoot directly into the back of this guy. Everybody on direct shot. On direct shot. Mixed. Direct shot. Okay, they're routing, they're routing, they're routing. And they just routed. Okay, sweet. Alright, nice. Ah, uh, what I did forget to do was check his character to see if he's more likely to ransom, execute. Well, I, for I didn't check that, dang. But for now, I think we're just gonna go for some resources. So our cavalry had the most kills, and our archers were second. Nice, they already got another rank. Okay, nice. They've only lost 48 troops. Oh! The 350? Unit replenishment? 350, 350. Let's just go ahead and uh, ransom them. I show them great mercy. And then we'll pull back. Glory to so we get some uh, replenishment rate. I am their savior. What does this one do? It's going to be charge bonus. We'll go with that one. And for this, we'll get 15% more ammunition. And then let's go ahead and check our character. He's a noble war master. Okay. So he's more likely to end turns in march stance, suffer attrition, recruit swords, suffer fewer casualties. Okay, that's going to be easy because he's an archer. Gained by spending a turn in enemy territory. Okay. Gained by recruiting units with two-handed weapons and suffering high casualties. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So he's... <laughs> his his bodyguard unit is supposed to take high casualties in battles. But at the same time, they suffer fewer casualties in battles. Okay, so there's no option. No predisposition towards ransoming or executing. So we get our pick there. And let's go ahead and recruit some more. Okay. There's another Just enemy army here. 
he might Speak. press us actually I do let's see if we can uh push back a little bit because we might waste the turn trying to recruit because if he pushes this battle you shall not influence me I'm not sure if we want that battle yet so yes. we're gonna push back a little bit see walls. if we can reduce the happiness level okay nice but plus two we'll take it and then we'll start with our recruitment Looks again clear. gather more warriors i seek strong warriors okay mari has two okay that's mari in here and then this faction they have two as the well path? there and they right here also have two so everybody has two cities that they control bronze i think we could wait on bronze a little bit so we'll go and the start is well known for both trade trading with them so they don't declare war on us and hopefully it increases their opinion a little bit so they want some bronze and gold we don't have any of that to give them so we'll give them 15 bronze per turn in exchange for some food like 75 too much Let's see if we can get 60 62 63 62 food for 15 bronze for five turns and that it should keep them on ice okay cool so the opinion is gain they're liking us a little bit more and then uh, let's see who's most likely to give us a non-aggression pact it's gonna be mari here who are they at war with? They're at war with Assyria. Interesting. So Assyria might push into them. Interesting. So it might be beneficial for us to wage war against them. And maybe get right here Supru for some food. We must stop Mari's together. at war with Sutu. And somewhere over here. And are they at war with anybody? They're not at war with anybody. So they're just building up. And we got a non-aggression pack with them already. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn right there, I believe. Or let's see. We're building that up. We're building that up. Yeah, let's go ahead and end our turn here. Okay, they're going to come and sack this temple here. They're going to be going back. Okay. we're still positive on food we have 11 turns for 300 food 40 wood so that'll leave us with 60 and then 55 bronze we'll be negative on the bronze so we gotta quickly expand take them out so we can get some more income resist me and you will die and i like the amount of archers we have they're taking a bronze as well so we'll get one more swordsman a javelin and another Warriors, one of them for that charge bonus. Spirit is a must. But we could actually get closer now, I think, because they're going to be over here. So we can get a little Protect bit closer, like city. right here, maybe. Strength, honor, discipline. I seek strong warriors. Okay. Check if how everything is going. Okay, we're going up with Assyria. How long it's going up the with them. Bag it's going up with them. Or bronze blade. With Mari, it's going down. We must be ruthless. With them, it's also going down. They're at war with the Mar from over here. Canaanites. Okay, we have faction strength 20. This is also going to be important to dissuade any faction from waging war on us. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll wait to rebuild that. Outpost as well. For our capital. Interesting. These chariots don't have any bronze upkeep. Okay, we definitely want some Acadian militia. They have a lot more armor than um than our, the units we have. It needs to be level two. We'll wait for this turn to, to upgrade the next level. What now? Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn again. Okay, they raised the temple now. Oh wait, I don't even think we got him married. Nothing passes me by. Let's go ahead and get married to a neighboring faction. It might be good for us to do it with. Let's hope that them. continues.
Okay, it's only these factions who we can get married to. Car right here, but they're at war with the Assyrians. And him down here, again. which is at war with the with them. Since their opinion of us is already going up. It's only by wall because we trespassed the Syria. Now nah, let's just do it with the car tribe here faction. Your approach to diplomacy should be more even-handed, Nunyorta. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and marry this lady here. Oh, they won't accept. So because they have an eligible can candidate, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's go for a barter agreement then. We'll give up some stone. We'll give up... 50 stone just to boost that influence up and they don't want food we definitely want as much food to prepare for our campaigns so let's go ahead and get 50 bra 50 stone for 120 food too much dang not nearly valuable enough okay for 78 food simple and okay it's going up a little bit Okay, we got 13. Expedite warriors. Expedite. Can we, we recruit go. here? Can't recruit anybody there. I do this for a Let's Syria. get a little bit more units. Warriors, he the serious call. Another one of uh javelins. We'll get militia. And another soldier here. And then we should be okay. Okay, local deities Choose wisely which gods to worship their blessings could assist you in it okay we have a sure we could worship as well and ishtar okay let's go ahead and start upgrading our military abilities here we could also boost up our resource production Influence is going up by one. Okay. It's going to take two turns to build there. Okay. Expired ball, uh, barters. We'll go ahead and renew this. I'm interested to hear what you have to offer. Make it work for 170. Okay, we'll just lower the amount. Let's go 37. Okay, for 36 bronze. If it will help. We just want to try to remain positive in our treasury. Okay, let's go ahead and end the turn. Okay, they popped up at our capital. My might. Through your actions, you gain experience, and thus the means to develop your strength and correct your weaknesses. Okay. Sure. So our general has the next level we can upgrade him to. What? And dang, I think we're able to reach him there. Let's see if we could reach him. It might be a trap though, because he might have another army here. But if we could reach him. Oh, we are able to reach him. Okay, sweet. Let's go ahead and fight this battle. Okay, we're going to go with this weather here. We got a river. So they might want to just defend this river. If that's the case, we're going to try to... Um, Throw a bunch of volleys on him. So we want to get our horseman somewhere where he could uh, get him. Okay, we got them on the flanks. Yeah, he's on the flank. He's holding that down. Alright, I'm fine. I'm just going to leave it as is. And we're just going to push up. And uh, let's move our horsemen up a little bit just to see if we can get some eyes on them. Actually, yeah, let's speed them up a little bit. Okay, here they are. Okay, so let's slow this down. And let's start bringing... Champion of 
Let's adjust yes. them there. Let's see if we can get a direct shot on them. We're not in range, so we're going to keep it on a mix shot. Do they have any archers here? Yeah, they have some javelins. So let's get them wide, and then we're going to counter right in the back of them. Whoa, whoa. Counter charge them, get one volley off at least. Let's go. Okay, straight for their general. You take them out. You charge straight into them. Uh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Their general, get a direct shot off. Okay, horsemen, charge into them. Oh, man. And then you charge into them. Hey, just fair warning, I'm definitely not the best at uh, these battles. I'm uh, So if you got any tips and stuff, all tips will be greatly appreciated. Because, you know, I'm just... I'm... Okay, we got our horsemen over here. Put them there. They're doing their thing here. Now you charge into them. Go straight for them. And then let's go ahead and... Okay, they're wiping them out. Let's get our cavalry ready to charge into them real quick. Actually, they're going to charge. Take as many of them out as we can. Nice. Let's take him out a little bit. They got eight more there. So get our troops a little bit more XP as well. Alright, sweet. Another great battle for us. It is on normal, but you know, it is what it is. I think for this one, we're going to send and try to get some more resources as well. Great is Assyria and his martial traditions. Yeah, let's just get some more resources. My might swells. And they're going to pause there. We could get some more troops as well. Let's go for upkeep. Oh, we got another one. Recruitment rank plus three. Damn. So I think we want to change this one out. And get this one. And then we could uh, come back, drop back, and put some of these troops in our garrison for our capital. It's in our capital, right? Yeah. So it will be okay recruiting Glory right now. To Assyria and its people, for I am their savior. Oh, I have to wait a turn. Damn. Let's go ahead and Marching order. march right march here. Continues. Okay, they only got one. We should be able to take this settlement on the next turn. Okay, we got a little bit more happiness. Legitimacy per defensive. Or military alliance. We have wood, so we could go for this one. Farms on the Tigr Tigris and Euphrates River. We will be getting a settlement here. So this one could come in handy. As this settlement is right here on the Euphrates River. So it's definitely going to have a farm. And we could get some more food from there. Happiness in Providence with Faction Leader. I think we're going to go straight away all the way down this path here. One of our allied with Mesopotamian factions, we get plus 10 food. Yeah, I definitely want to get this one here. Even if it's 5%, it'll come in handy. Most of our provinces are food. Oh, no, they're not. We're going to get food, though. I serve a great cause. Okay, we could upgrade one more. Here. Happiness at level 2. Recruitment slots. We definitely got to get a practice hall. So we could recruit three or four units, four regiments of troops instead of three. As well as have them be ranked two. And then with this perk we just got for our general, we'll have them rank five units. That'll be very, very powerful for us. 
We want to expand quickly. Nice. The Suhu. Okay, so we could get a thousand food. And this for our army for 10 turns would be pretty beneficial. But this is a lot more resources. 2,000 food. Food is what supplies the army. So, I think we can get all of these in the next turn. Damn, I didn't check what our treasury was looking like for this. Because large chunks of treasury is very beneficial. You can trade a one-time barter for a large amount and get a lot of food. And these are more... Wood is very valuable. I'm going to go with this one. Give ourselves a little cushion Foresight to trade. Yeah, we could use some more wood for sure. Okay. Protector of Assyria. How much of a garrison they have? They have nine troops plus this one. Find someone else. We should be able to take Taste them out this turn. Power. Okay, it says it's going to be pretty equal. Okay, they do have three golden units. They have this guy. Okay, they have three archers. What's their range? 150. We have 160 range, so we could pepper them down before. We should be able to win this. Wait two turns so they can take attrition. They might press a battle on us. I think we're going to fight this one. Let's go ahead and fight it. Damn, he's, his general is rank 6. Okay, let's go ahead and deploy here. Your forces are ready to storm the settlement. Study the enemy position well. Okay. I hope they have made their peace with death. Morale plus 10 here. You might want to enter here. This is mud. Our two units can be close by. I'm not sure where their allies is going to be coming from though. Oh, it's right here. So we could take him out actually first. Take out one of their golden generals. Hit him with the javelins. Toggle skirmish mode off. And then we'll have him here. And him here. And then we'll send one swordman to fight him. And that should be enough. They have high damage, these farmers. Let's take these two archers, put them over here, and let's get a regiment of oh, some soldiers over here. We want to push right here. We have, we have more range on them, so we'll be able to have our archers pepper them down or send the retreat, and then we can push forward. And let's get two of these guys over here. Okay, so four units and two archers should be enough. And we'll have them here. And we'll wait to push them. Will not let us fail. Interesting. We could get a cavalry charge as well. Off this general if he's not a spearman. Charge bonus plus 30%. Okay, let's see what we got with this. Uh... Okay, yeah, he's not a... Okay. Attack him as soon as you're able. Attack. Attack. No, what are you doing, bro? Dang, he didn't. Oh, well. Go ahead and attack them. Okay, you stop firing. You stop firing. Get in the back. Nah, we can just leave them. We ride. Okay, see? They only got... They got a general over here, so we can go ahead and push our archers up. Right I there. Bring these guys. Up right here. Okay, their general's fleeing. Let's continue to take them out. And then we'll have our cavalry. Make sure they don't come back. It doesn't look like they're going to be able to flee anyway. So let's go ahead and start pushing up these guys.
Okay. Nice. They completely wiped them out. So let's go ahead and push all these guys up here. And then who do they have here? They have the archers. We could send our cavalry over here to come around. It's going to take them a while. We don't want to send them here because then they're going to archers are going to straight up push us. Okay. Speed that up. Okay. Everybody here is in range. Push them up a little bit. Okay, they're running away. Oh, they have another unit. Okay, let's bring him right here. And then let's counter them. Is that a spearman? It's not a spearman, so we can go straight for a charge here. Yo, attack him. Okay, they're pushing back. Where is our general at? General. Put some cover fire on these people here. Where is his range at? Okay. Oh. Right here. Groomed for success. As they charge up, we're gonna need you right here. Come Honor. on, speed up. Honors are gods. Fight with pride. Step by step. Just had to push everybody up. Push up these guys. Get our get our archers out of there. Oh no! Pull our cavalry back. They're getting shot at. Skirmish mode for them. Good. Get a shot off on them. Right there. See if y'all can get around them. You can get on the back of him. Nice, you could. Oh no! Okay. You charge the general. And we need one of you over here. You could stay there. Arrows of the east. Embrace your fury. Charge them. For this. Right here. Cavalry formation. Oh, what are you doing? Attack them. Nice. Unit using losing decisively. Good charge. Good charge. Okay, they're fleeing there. Everybody here, toggle guard mode. No hesitation. Let's get these guys up here. On we go. See? Fight with pride. You, you guys to go attack him. Rend their flesh. Strike now. On the move. Step by step. On we go. Step by step. Arrows off the east. 
Okay. They're losing still. We'll keep them there. And we'll have our swordsmen assist them. Our general, attack them. Fire at will. Go there. Go there. Calvary's tired, pull them back. Okay. We have one of our archers assist our guys here with some direct shots. Have them take them out. From above. We Put their eyes out. On the move. Okay. Nice. Time to move. You move our swordsmen up here to protect our archers. To and our cavalry, that's a spearman unit. That's also a spearman unit, so. We'll have our cavalry just kick it for now. And they're all wavering. So looks like we're going to win this. Yeah, they're retreating. Excellent. Close victory. Probably definitely closer than it should have been. We lost 152, so I'm... I'll take that for sure. Carried us to victory. We're just gonna go ahead and occupy it. Garrison was strict discipline. Okay, nice. The cry of triumph. So now we got a nice little boost in our in our treasury, and we have a farm now on the t uh, Euphrates River. So let's see what kind of food. One seventy five, and fifty wood. Workforce growth. We might want to change this. Oh, we already got both resources. Okay, so we just need to get this one up to the third level. And get some more wood in this building. Okay, let's go ahead and check out our diplomacy. Okay, our strength rank did drop quite a bit. I take care they have more troops than us now. They raised up some more armies. They shouldn't declare war on us because it's positive and it's going up. We have a trade agreement with them. So as long as we have a trade agreement with them, they shouldn't declare war on us. And Assyria did conquer together. this province right here. So our next target for Ooh, war could be them us. here. But we do also have a trade agreement, so we got to wait three turns. And then we can come up on this province to get some more food on the Euphrates River, which is going to be pretty vital for us. Bright ideas and then they're going to hold problems. the next two territories in that province. We must be ruthless. Let's see if we can get a... You have my attention. They won't. So let's just get a trade agreement with them. They will not. Have we gotten our guy married yet? Arrange marriage. Here we go. Okay, she's 24. We're just going to go with her. She's a little bit younger. Okay, now he's married. Hopefully they have kids soon. Thought I'd change the turns per year to six. We'll see if it ends on this one. Okay, let's upgrade our general once more. Upkeep minus eight. Influence. Battle loot. Interesting. That'll be pretty nice too. I think before we go down this path for the fortitude, we're going to try to go down, get this level 5 for the upkeep on his general. However strong a general, there is a... Huh. Okay, 
Okay, we got eight turns there. Greetings How are they? Welcome. It's going down what with them. Want to discuss? And they're on the other side, so they're slightly fortified. Huh. Let's check out that province. Yeah. It'll make us borders with them. We would definitely need a trade agreement with them. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for this first episode here with Nenurta of the Hanengalba faction. We're able to secure the province, do some diplomacy with our neighboring factions, choose our target or where we want to expand, rank up our general a little bit, and we'll continue on the next episode. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Peace.